Hey you guys, so this video is going to be a collective reading. So there's no specific zodiac sign, there's no specific, you know, gender, none of that, whatever, whatever. Um, this is going to be for the ones who are in separation, I guess you can say. Um, you know, the holidays is coming up, so I wanted to do a reading. A lot of people, they tend to ask me like, should I reach out to this person or should I do this, should I do that? And I always say like, it's up to you, it's completely up to you. Like, that's not something I could just recommend or tell you to do whatever the case may be is that's all on you but um for this reading I don't know I was called to do something like this the holidays is coming up you know some people are broken up from their person some people are separated from their person some people are on a break from their person for some people there's just a lack of communication for others you know your person may have ghosted you and you're confused so this reading is just going to be should you reach out like I said I don't usually do readings like this when people reach out to me booking a personal reading they're like should I reach out should I do this should I do that I always say listen to your intuition but I don't know I don't know why I was called to do this reading so I'm gonna do it if my ancestors or my spirit guides want me to do it I'm gonna do it so here it is this is going to be a reading for the ones who are separated or not speaking to their person this reading is going to be about um should you reach out should you reach out the holidays is coming up the new year is coming up should you reach out or should you just let it be we shall see now if you'd like to book your personal reading you can do so through the link in my description box which is my website i also have my cash app and my paypal in the description box just in case y'all want to tip me donations are greatly appreciated okay so let's get into it so give me a little backstory on this person give me a little something something Oop, okay that car just flew out okay so i feel like this person whoever they are they reached out to you first like they pursued you first is basically what i'm trying to say this person pursued you first they could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius or a water sign pisces cancer scorpio um okay cleo's crying at my door so i'm gonna just open it up so she can come in if you hear noise in the background that's little miss cleo so don't mind her yeah, I see that this person pursued you first. I feel like they were very slick with their words. And not even slick as in affectionate. It's just like they, they were smooth. This person seemed like they were smooth with their words. Not affectionate. Not, you know, lovey-dovey. But I don't know. Like, you know, they spit game. It was, it was there. It was there. Um, but yeah, it definitely looked like this person pursued you first. They could have pursued you by asking you out on a date or seeing you out and about somewhere and asking for your number. I just see that this person, or even DMing you and asking for your number. Some way, somehow, this person pursued you first. But ten of, ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, you're beginning to feel burdened by this person or by this connection with this person. Can you give me a little more insight on who this person could be? Oh, okay. For some of y'all, you're dealing with an Aquarius. Clarification on the star card. I feel like at first you had hope that things will go somewhere with them, but then you quickly realize like, damn, this is sort of not going anywhere. For some of you guys, with the four of cups at the bottom of the deck, this is actually someone who you weren't even interested at first. You may have rejected them. And then, you know, you two began, um, like you gave them a chance. That could be why you're feeling burdened. It's like, damn, I gave you a chance and you over here acting funny or being distant or ghosting me. What's the issue here between my viewers, the collective, and the person that they're dealing with? What is the issue here? What is the issue at hand? What's going on? What is the issue at hand? It looks like you fell for their words more than their actions. It looks like, you know, there was red flags. But like I said, it's like they were so smooth with their words that you fell for their words. You fell for what they had to say, but their words and their actions just wasn't adding up. But you had so much hope that you believed the words more than the actions. And now that has you feeling stuck. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm going to see how this person feels about you. I've pretty much seen how you feel about this person or what your thoughts on this person. I'm going to see how they feel about you and then I'm going to go into should you reach out. I'm also going to go in with my Oracle deck that I created. If you would like to purchase that, you can do so through the link in the description box as well, which is my website. I'm also going to be coming out with another Oracle deck, you guys. I'm going to be coming out with another Oracle deck. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Okay. So the person that my viewers are dealing with or separated from, What's their current feelings? What's their current feelings for my viewers? Page of Cups. They know it's a lack of communication. They know it is. They feel like you're, because of the lack of communication with them, they feel like you're already pursuing other options. They feel like you're done with them. Clarification on this Page of Cups. They know that you're viewing them as someone who's childish. It actually looks like they want to reconcile with you, but they're viewing you as someone who's viewing them as childish. At the bottom of the deck is a hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus. They know you want a relationship. They know that you want something serious. But it's like they're not ready for that, but then they still want to be with you. So that's what's coming off as childish. Clarification on this Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, okay. The Queen of Cups. Will of Fortune, yeah. This person is feeling like you're you're done. You're done with them. This person, even if you're not, that's how they're feeling. That's that's their thoughts. They're feeling like you've had enough. This person does want to speak to you though. What's stopping them? What's stopping them? this person is very arrogant pisces cancer energy heavy water energy in general pisces cancer scorpio this person is very um very arrogant clarification on the moon card one card please clarification on the moon card this person is giving me arrogant vibes like i feel like they want you to do all the work yeah the moon card clarified by the knight of cups reverse they want you to do all the work they have feelings for you two of cups at the bottom of the deck and that kept being at the bottom of the deck too this is like the third time it was at the bottom of the deck this person has feelings for you they do the feelings that you have for them they have for you as well but i feel like they want you to do all the work and put in all the effort let me get out my oracle deck so i can see what else is their feelings and what the hell they gotta say all right so my vote before i even start the should you reach out portion i feel like you shouldn't even reach out to this person because they're waiting for you to reach out literally they're expecting you to reach out and they're waiting on that i don't know if it's a cycle between you two like they start acting distant and you're the one chasing them or what but this person they're they're expecting you to reach out not even it's like okay a part of them is expecting you to reach out because they want you to they hope that you will but a bigger part of them thinks that you're done because you haven't reached out what is this what is this person's feelings towards my viewers what do they gotta say or what's their feelings what's going on with them All right, you're the closest person to me, which is odd because why are you pushing away the closest person to you, huh? <laughs> so sometimes I dream about you came out. This person dreams about you frequently. For some of y'all, this is a channeled message. For some of y'all, you've actually been trying to astral project into this person's dreams and it's actually working. It's just to let you know. 
And then I want you. Yeah, I've been you that. I want to tell you how I feel at the bottom of the deck. I've been you that too. I'm not understanding how you're the closest person to them, but they're keeping you at a distance, which is odd because in this card as well, you know, this is um, my Oracle deck. For the ones that don't know, it's the Mass Feelings Oracle COVID-19 edition. So it's COVID-based, hospital-based, whatever, whatever. If you'd like to purchase, you can do so through the link in my description box. But with this card, you can see they're at a distance. So it's like, maybe it's just this person pushes away the people who get too close. That could be all that it is. That could be all that it is. They push away the ones who are too close. Cleo, please get away from the tripod. She's real petty. I don't know what she know about tripods, but when I record, like, she likes to just try and knock it over. Like, girl, please stop. Please stop. <laughs> yeah, um, it's so weird. This person wants you, but... They're just arrogant. That's the vibe that I'm getting. They're just arrogant. They want you to do all the work. It's like they want to be babied or something. It's odd. It's so odd. Okay. Let's see now. Should you reach out to this person? Should my viewers reach out to this person? The holidays is coming up. The new year is coming up. Should my viewer reach out to this person? Should my viewer reach out to this person? I personally vote no, but let's see what Spirit has to say. Should my viewer reach out to this person? Should my viewers? That's telling me wait. Wait it out. It's giving me a no. Wait it out. Give me one more card. One more card. Page of Wands. I'm getting no waited out, to be honest. With that Knight of Coins and then the Ace of Wands reversed, I'm getting waited out. Why should they wait it out? Why? I feel like it's gonna continue being the same cycle you're gonna get hurt with this five of cups let me get a clarification on the five of cups yeah you're gonna get hurt wait it out and use this time to heal cleo wait it out and use this time to heal don't put in effort don't put in effort don't reach out use this time to heal it's going to continue being a cycle this person needs to decide if they want to be with you to be in your life they got to end that cycle of distancing themselves because they want to be chased or distancing themselves because they want to have you pour your heart out like this person is they're doing too damn much this person is doing too damn much and i'm not liking it i'm not liking it one bit to be quite honest this person needs to do better so yeah, don't reach out. Don't reach out. You got to heal. You got to focus on yourself. Do not reach out. So y'all heard it first. Don't reach out to this person. You could if you want, but it's going to result in the same cycle. And if it doesn't result in the same cycle, it's going to be something that's said or done that's going to hurt you with that five of cups. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancer. I'm getting heavy water energy though. I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. I'm getting heavy water energy. So you could be any of those signs that I've spoken on, or your person could be one of those signs or could have those placements. Give me some advice for my viewers. Give me some advice regarding this situation. Give me some extra advice. Trust your intuition. Nine of Cups, the High Priestess. Trust your intuition. Stick to being single for right now. Stick to being single. Stick to being to yourself. Trust your intuition. This person... I wouldn't say they don't have good intentions, but it's like, they're just arrogant. Like, I don't know. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. A channeled message that I got earlier that I really didn't wanna say because it's pretty harsh, but you know, when I when I hear the voices, <laughs> when I hear the voices, you know, it um it tells me, like it's, it's gonna keep talking until I say it. So I try to, I try to not say it, but I'ma say it. This person, it seems like they have mommy issues. 
I don't know if their mother wasn't there when they were growing up. I don't know if they just don't have the best relationship with their mother. I don't know what the hell it is with their mama, but they have some type of mother issues. They have some type of mother issues. So it's like they want you to chase them. They want to continuously have reassurance and continuously have you pour their heart out to them and this and that. Like them running from you, I don't want to say is their love language, but it sort of is. Like you chasing them is their love language. So they're, since you're not really realizing that, what they're going to keep doing is running from you. So you can chase them so they know, oh, yeah, I am important. Oh, yeah, they do love me. Oh, yeah, they do want to be with me. Like, even if you were to continuously give them reassurance and affection, they're so, like, unhealed that, I wouldn't even say unhealed. They're so damaged, basically, that um, even if you were to give them constant reassurance, they would still run from you. To know okay even if i leave this person is gonna chase me like that's that's what they do that's what they do that's what i got from this from this whole reading really it was a channeled message literally from the beginning of the reading but i was like nah i'm not gonna say that because that's harsh like i don't want to put no mommy issues on somebody i don't want to say that on youtube and say somebody got mommy issues i don't want to say that but no it's a constant it was a constant you know it was like say it say it Say it. that's how I get some of my messages sometimes when I'm doing readings if you go like if you're a tarot reader yourself and you watch my videos and you, you go based off the cards you may be like that that's not what it means how is she reading that it's because I hear shit I definitely hear things I'm not gonna lie so sometimes the channel messages that I get won't resonate with the cards it could resonate with possibly the picture in the cards but it wouldn't resonate with the actual meaning that's why I don't I had a client one time when I very first started doing readings. I guess she was on FaceTime with somebody and I'm going completely off topic, but I don't care. Um, I guess she was on FaceTime with somebody and they were doing a reading for her. She screenshotted the spread and sent it to me like, oh, what does this mean? Girl, I don't know. I don't know the context. I don't know what the reading was about. I don't know what energy that person was feeling. I don't know. I can't read that. Like, I can't read that. So when I watch YouTube readings for myself or for whatever the case may be, I'm not going to look at these cards and try and figure out, oh, but that doesn't mean that. That means that because everybody feels the energy differently from the cards. Everyone receives messages differently. It's not, you know, so literally what I was getting throughout this whole reading, back to the point, <laughs> what I was getting throughout this whole reading is that someone has mommy issues. Someone has mommy issues and they want to be chased. That's how they feel loved, being chased. So should you reach out to this person? No, you should not. Because this is going to be a continuous cycle. Like I said earlier, at the bottom of the deck, it was that 10 of wands. You're going to continue feeling burdened by this person because they're not gonna change. That's who they are right now. That's exactly who they are. They need to be chased in order to feel loved. So I hope you guys enjoy this reading. I can't even speak right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope I don't lose subscribers because, you know, sometimes the truth hurts. But hey, we all need to hear it, you know? It'd be like that sometimes. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. If you would like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box. And if you would like to tip me, my cash app and PayPal is in the description box and that will be greatly appreciated. But make sure y'all like this video, please and thank you. Make sure y'all subscribe, please and thank you. And have a good day.